I've always been a maker. I always loved to draw and to make things for friends. Ended up studying graphic design only because I liked the way that those classes were taught. And I struggled for years to try to come back to science and technology or try to bring them together. In the work that I've done, I've found ways to work through art to support people learning science and technology and Make and Maker Fair are exactly that kind of a venue. The Maker Fair is this wonderful weekend-long event that is a celebration of the do-it-yourself mindset. We have hundreds of makers coming and bringing together their projects in arts, crafts, engineering, music, food, science, technology, you name it, we probably have it. We need to rekindle making in America and manufacturing in America, and that's something that's lost. Schools around the country have been shutting down places for making, and we don't think that's right. So through the Young Makers program, we're working to create more opportunities for kids to be able to make things. We want to give them places to make and communities to make. Communities of other kids, but also communities of mentors. How can we tap into the resources of makers who are completely happy to help kids? And then we're also providing a venue, and that venue is Maker Fair, or we're also encouraging people to create mini Maker Fairs. Today I got to visit Lighthouse Community Charter School where Erin Vanderwerf uh, created a class of makers within an elective course of robotics there. I got to see a plastic chandelier that used recycled water bottles as its medium, but then also had LEDs that were activated with motion sensor. Alexander's project was a hacked Guitar Hero guitar that controlled little robots within a small environment. I even got to see a steerable hovercraft that uh, used two very loud leaf blowers. <laughs> the kids were proud of what they made. Um, I saw that pride at Maker Faire and I saw it again today. I think that all of us can learn more by making more, whether we're kids or adults. And so I would say, make a maker club with kids, make a maker club with adults. Share your love of creating things, no matter what that thing is.